Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Darren from Carp and Cat Catcher Channel. Uh, it, it is Thursday, 18th of August. I'm just going to head down to Messingham Sands. Uh, going down this week with my daughter, Caitlin, and her partner, Jordan. Uh, plan is to do till Sunday, three nights. Uh, there's been a few coming out over the last few days. So we'll, we'll give it a go, see how we do. So uh, we'll get off, I'll see you soon. Good afternoon everybody, so I'm back down at Messingham uh, Doing the same pegs as last time I came Mainly because I'm suffering with my knee a bit and it's closest peg to, to water height wise Makes it a bit easier for me to, to get boat in and out and stuff and get fish in and out So I've got left hand peg again uh, Jordan and Caitlin who school with me, Caitlin's my daughter Jordan's her partner uh, They're going to fish up right on party peg once, uh, once this gentleman's left, he's uh, he's just doing a day. He'll be leaving about five o'clock, he said. So they've just gone for a bit of a walk around, see what's happening. So I'm just gonna uh, just gonna get my rods out. mil krill active boilies size 6 curve shank and a, a small mesh bagger pellets to start with I'm just going to hook them on like so and this is clipped up to 12 wraps See how we go. Catch back up here in a bit. So that's gone out to about 12 wraps, same as what it was clipped up to before. Plenty of rough gas, it's not clipped up with boat. <coughs> Pretty sure it's somewhere close. Hopefully, I'll have some fish. Bring him back in. And that, I'll see you in a bit.
bulk baits to offer pay lab off. It's a brain pack in it. Morning, everybody. Uh, not got to a, a good start last night. In fact, ab absolute nightmare. Uh, still not too sure what happened. A uh, couple of couple of beeps on my left rod. Uh, rod bent round to the left, and somehow we oh, got one, two, three, four pegs down to my left. Uh, a bloke who'd got a, a carp down in, in first peg. Somehow he's, he's got my left rod and took it all the way down to his peg and, and my line ended up in a tree somehow. Don't know how. But yeah. uh, at the same time as we saw my left rod out, I looked at my right hand rod and that's somehow gone from 12 wraps out to being all the way around to my right in the in a lily pads. And again, nothing. So I've ended up. Uh, snapping, snapping both off, starting again, that was 5 o'clock this morning, so they're both back out again, uh, sun's come up now, it's quite warm again, nice little breeze, so hopefully, uh, probably change to zigs shortly I think, and give them a go, uh, see how we go for the day, and we'll, uh, we'll catch back up with you soon, see you soon. Not much happening with the sun. Uh, it's been an odd run from a, a couple of pegs down from me. Uh, I think last one he had with a, a cat. Managed to keep them on for a couple of minutes while that snapped him off. So I'm going to change one of mine to a zig rig. Uh, it's like it's all pretty much five foot deep everywhere. No snags. So I've got some, some pre tied zigs here. Uh, four foot. Varying length, so four and a half foot, five foot. So I'm gonna go with four foot, uh, just on on one of my mid rods for now. Keep on the on bottom and bring that in closer. So like I said, this is uh, pre-tied four foot. Uh, so obviously, just just to stop that tangling, just put a, a piece of. So we put foam on round hook just to stop it tangling on anything as we as we take it out. So I'm gonna get that sorted and I'll uh, catch back up here in a bit.
that's like I say, real spod. Uh, I'll put it out in bolt. A little bit tricky with, with the zig to be honest, but it's, uh, as you can see, it's all nicely curled up in there. A couple of bits of farm on road to stop it tangling. Hopefully, it should go down as planned. Hook obviously floats slower than lead and bait. Should leave me a nice cloud over my zig. So, here it goes. Boat just going out with zig. Nice hopper full of spot mix. Should give it a nice cloud. So the sun should be bringing. Put it under arm out with a bag of pellets on. Bream or no bream? <laughs> Morning everybody. Well, we're on Saturday, Saturday morning now. Uh, day three. Three days, two nights. Managed to bream. 218 mil boilers it took. Can't believe it. But we keep trying. Got rods back out again. I had a, I had a run this morning, about half past seven on left rod. Uh, pretty decent run. Hit into it, nothing. Uh, I don't believe John's had anything throughout the night either. Well, at all since we've been here, the same. Uh, some guys over on Far Bank, I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, pretty much straight across from me. They've they've had a, an absolute belting night. Uh, started, I don't know, maybe nine, ten o'clock ish, and didn't really stop. I went to bed about one o'clock. Uh, they were still going. I got up throughout night. They were having another. Uh, I believe they've had one this morning as well. Uh, to what I know of, uh, the guy that I've spoke to, uh, next peg up to us, he's not had nothing. Uh, Steve Downing, next peg down to the left, uh, he had a, a about a 17 pound common last night. Uh, guy next to him, he's had nothing I don't believe. So it's it's not just me. They, they just seem to be in, in one batch and that's that's where they're staying. But we'll we'll keep trying. I uh, just need to decide whether whether I'm gonna 
give it a, a third night or oh, I'll call it a day cut my losses and back up and get myself home to a, a nice comfy bed but we'll we'll see I'll uh, I'll get back to you and let you know what's happening hopefully with a, a fish or two Changed tactics a bit. We've, we've tried pretty much everything: different rigs, zigs, bottoms, pop-ups, pellets, nothing. Uh, I had a run half seven this morning, like I said, which came to nothing. So we've, oh, I've, I've changed to pretty much both rods out with uh, an 18 mil top with a, a bit of wafter, wafter, and. Uh, an upper full of boilers uh, I better go over me up bait as of yet nothing again uh, still time uh, weather's changed quite a lot quite windy now so we'll uh, keep trying and see how we go I'll catch up with you in a bit seems to be working upper uh, full of boilers have done absolutely nothing not a knock from them so I've gone uh, a little bit shorter up link I'm down to about about five inch uh, single up bait on just one 18 mil boiler uh, I'm gonna give that a try just with a, a bag of pellets and try that we're, uh, we're out of options so we're, we're giving anything to go now so I'll give that a try I've been putting some, some spot mix just pretty much a rod length out maybe maybe a little bit more not much just on the edge of these few reeds that I've got here uh, chucking a, a spoon or two out for the last couple of hours so I'm just going to give it a, a little bit longer uh, bring my left rod in and pretty much just put that with this single up bait little bag of pellets just on the edge of these reeds which hopefully you can see just here just like I said a little bit more than a rod length not much and hopefully the spot mix has brought them in and we can have a fish fingers crossed see you in a bit Morning everybody, uh, it's Sunday morning, it's about packing up time, still nothing, a bream, three nights into fourth day, I've had my line stuck out twice, two, two separate nights, nothing, tried everything, different rigs, different baits, different distances, nothing, uh, not been a great deal coming out elsewhere but there, there has been a few, so they've just not just not been in my swim to be honest so unfortunately that's that's it for this time it's uh, time to pack up head off home wait for next time so on that note i'll catch you again soon well people what can i say three nights halfway through fourth day nothing got up this morning had a, a steady pack up left rods out to the last minute still 
not a thing. I'm speechless. But anyway, no doubt we'll be back again soon. Maybe try different pegs. These pegs are normally pretty good to be honest, but fish them over by the order, let's be honest. So we'll uh, we'll get down again when we can and we'll, we'll have another go, see if we can catch some carp and cats for you. I'll see you later.